No, I'm just working from my home, Roger. Check it out, man. Huh, flashes on. Yeah, it kind of looks good that way. <laughs> man, I've been sitting here drinking my morning coffee, having woke up at noon. Remember, I'm a good retiree. Uh, and I've been just screwing around, drinking my coffee, working some poda contacts, and uh, comparing my 80-meter uh, Wonderwire NFED to my 40-meter inverted V on 40 meters. And uh, it's a toss-up. Sometimes one's better than the other. Uh, and I just worked this guy, and I got twice. I've worked five poda stations, and two out of the five commented about my excellent audio <laughs> yeah thanks man i appreciate that i appreciate that mightily yeah sorry bob heil god bob heil not to be confused with god rob sherwood hey bob hey mr heil don't need you man Woo! don't need you man and uh i'm going <laughs> <laughs> excellent audio, excellent articulation, excellent punch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not thanking God Rob uh, Heil. I'm thanking God Yesu for A, engineering a very acceptable hand microphone, the MH31, and B, doing astounding work with uh, parametric equalization. Uh, I'm going to um, stop this video and uh, put you on a tripod and we'll take a look at my menu settings for the mic EQ. Okay, I've brought my menu up and hopefully this display isn't... Uh, wasted by moir pattern or um, refresh sync issues. I have my LCD display brightness relatively low on this radio because uh, it's easier on my eyes and uh, the phone has a hard time recording it and I'm, uh, I'm too stupid usually to set things up for a good recording. <laughs> um, so these are my menu settings for my uh, mic equalization. Now remember, on Yesu, um, at least this FTDX series, um, parametric EQ1, um, let me get a pointer. I don't need to do this, but uh, if you have a Yesu, but right here it says parametric EQ, one through three um that is the settings with the processor off okay i'll show let me scroll down and show you see where it starts saying p dash parametric eq um that's processing so um processing on settings processing off settings above that right okay so these are my settings i use um And when I, I'm a QRP -er, 90% of the time when using single sideband, I'm running QRP. But, um, and so I never, ever operate this radio with the, um, with the, um, processing turned off. I always run speech processing and relatively hard to, um, so, but, uh, anyway, these first settings are with the processor off, and those are my settings, okay? I don't need to enunciate them. You can read them. I'm going to scroll down so you can see the rest of them. Okay, those are my settings with the, um, with the processor turned off. And now my settings with the processor turned on, which is how, which is how I always run it. Let me scroll up to get that to the top of the list. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So EQ1 is the low end. I've, oddly, well, I have a very low bassy voice, so I rolled off the bass just a tad 
at a center frequency of 200 Hertz, right? Set it to a bandwidth. The blue items are default. Um, if they're white, that's because I've changed them. Okay, so there's the first three settings for range one. And uh, there's the next three settings for the mid-range. You can see that none of them are blue. I've changed all three. Um, the EQ frequency, the EQ level, and the EQ bandwidth. I've changed them all to suit my voice characteristics. And please note that these settings, I changed them slightly after enabling 4K TX bandwidth. Okay, note that please. I have enabled my 4K transmit bandwidth. And so those are the mid-range settings. Um, you can see what I've done. I've knocked down the mid-range. Um, basically all I've done for the mid-range. I've knocked it down and I've... Yeah, enough said. I better shut up. And so those, this is the high end. Now, for me, with my 4K TX bandwidth enabled, I find that this, man, you set these like this, man. If you have a low voice like I do, uh, especially these the high-end settings here, uh, I've changed the EQ3 frequency all the way up to 3200 hertz, man. Look at the EQ3 level, 10. Not Yase's stock 0 or 1 or 2 or whatever it was. I cranked it. <laughs> and the bandwidth is still though the default one and uh, I'm constantly getting um, reports of astounding audio and this just again that's why I'm doing this right now the guy said that I had fantastic sounding audio <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah fantastic sounding audio with a stock hand mic. I think that's a grin. I hope this was useful to somebody. <laughs> um, although I have a feeling very few of my videos are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be well. And most importantly, have fun every day if possible. Do something for fun. Call a friend. Call a family member. Call an old neighbor just to say hi. Hey man, I'm thinking of you. Just wanted to say hi. If we all do that, you know what? Many, many problems in our world today will go away. I believe that with all my heart. Thanks for watching. Be well. 73. And by the way, I'm a QRPer. I'm just a lowly QRP, -er, you know. The only thing I got on my side, maybe, are operating familiarity with low power. I won't even say skill. I'm too humble for that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> Sorry. But Blozo always clears his throat. <laughs> I'm Blozo the humble, happy ham. And when I say that I, as a QRP, I run my ALC just a little hard. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> Yeses suggest a little bit of activity is suitable. I found otherwise. <laughs> now I'm on 17 meters. I have a dummy load, but I'm hoping someone will hear some chatter, some a, a human voice for a change on 17 meters. And, uh... But the good ham always listens first. That's why I'm not always a good ham. <laughs> Man, Blozo's not out to bullshit, you guys. Okay, I'll settle down, man. Now, can you see this? No, you can't see how I hold my mic. Typical. In my left hand, thumb on the button, right? And I touch my thumb to the corner of my mouth. 
and that's it. The mic to the side of my mouth, thumb touching corner of my mouth, the mic is always in the exact same position. Okay. All right. Test one, two, test one, two, November 8, November Kilo, testing ALC meter on Yesu FTDX 3000 for another awful YouTube video. <laughs> See how the ALC meter, um, I try not to let it like that. I try not to let that happen. My mic gains a little high. I'll probably take it down a couple notches and it varies seems to a, a little bit varies by band so that's that's the, right there that's the ALC action I'd like to see I've got my power set to 10 do I yes power set to 10 watts and that's how I run my ALC regardless of whether operating QRP or uh, full um, power on this rig of 100 watts this is November 8, November Kilo, testing. Okay, I'm going to pause you. Well, yeah, no, let me switch the meter to compression. Now, what Yesu suggests is that you should see, with your ALC set correctly, you would like to keep it under 5 dB of compression. You just saw me, man. I'm working the ALC me. I'm working the ALC hard at this 10 watt level. You think I'll get any compression? Man, I got to really I got to really speak up. November 8, November kilo testing. See, I'm testing. I'm talking in the same voice that I was before and only on the occasional peak 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 pop there we go. Pop. As long as I don't act the fool talking normally, the T sound got a uh, a little kick in compression, but um, generally there is no activity on the compression level meter. Um, and the only times I see a tick, it stays under 5 dB of compression. This is November 8, November Kilo, doing audio testing for YouTube. Well, I thought maybe I'd scare up a little activity, but sadly, only um, Europeans like to use most of our amateur radio bands these days. <laughs> you don't think I, you don't believe me? Go to dxmaps.com and uh, you look at the level of activity in Europe compared to um, the CONUS, the United States. Anyway, thanks for watching. I, I myself, Chuck, and Blozo, <laughs> say 73, be well.